So you've got yourself a Logitech MS Keys keyboard and it's been a real joy to use. However, if you're anything like me and occasionally enjoy a snack while working, you might run into a common issue, sticky or unresponsive keys. In my case, the problem lies with the G key, which doesn't consistently register key presses. Therefore, I will need to remove it and clean it thoroughly. Before you begin removing the keys, it's crucial to ensure you have a good tool for prying them off. A while back, I purchased the pry toolkit and quickly discovered a favorite among the tools, this metal spudger. A guitar pick or maybe even a credit card can work, but if you believe you need one of these kits, here are my top two recommendations. The first option is an affordable, no-name brand that still gets the job done. However, if you're inclined towards DIY projects, I would highly recommend the more premium iFixit Tech Toolkit. You can find links to both products in the video description below. Now let's dive right into the process. The most effective method for removing keys is to gently pry them from the top. Insert your tool above the key and carefully lift it out. It's a good idea to use your other hand to secure the key, preventing it from unexpectedly flying across the room. Next, take a small brush and thoroughly clean around the key, removing any debris. Once you've brushed away the debris, you can either flip the keyboard upside down or blow some air into it. This step is crucial to ensure that all food scraps and particles are completely gone. When it comes to reassembling the keys, it's a straightforward process. Simply slide them in from the top until the bottom side locks into place, and then gently press down on the top side to secure them. Now it's time to test each removed key. Check for smooth key presses and make sure that each press is consistently registered. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more DIY content.